I got a can of paint and it's not the same color. You can tell the difference down here. It's about a shade off. Uh, I painted the top there and the bottom hadn't been painted. And But this right here was solid rust. And uh, it's done dry now. But uh, I've done got tired. I believe I'm going to go in the house. This is a paint I got. Uh, it's that uh, 2X uh, it's satin finish and it's uh, moss green. It's that Rust-Oleum. And uh, I done got this stone down and uh, all this cleaned up up here. I'm going to paint that probably later on, but nothing got tired today. I got to go, go in and sit down for a little while. Uh, I got all this oil back down and uh, everything. I got this uh, back piece, this new back piece put on. Uh, the other one had three or four big holes in it. I ordered some 1 16th rubber. It wasn't that high. I think I give, I don't forget, I ain't gonna say because I don't remember, but it wasn't awful high. It's uh, like 24, uh, 30 cent, no, 36 inches by 72 inches. And it wasn't very expensive at all. And I got that put on and got everything lined back up. All of these, uh, all these things here has to be lined up where this uh, little guard in here won't rub. This little guard right here, it can't rub. And uh, it's got uh, one the whole length of the bed. And, it's, and it can't rub on that. And this thing's got uh, pieces of quarter inch rubber right here held on by these two bolts right here I guess to keep anything from getting uh, rolling up under there but uh, we got her done and uh, I learned a lot from uh, Michael Murray's channel I'll put a link down in the description and y'all go check his channel out and give him some love there. Uh, he's got some good content. He's building a uh, mortar uh, now for his son. I think he does, uh, I don't know what, what kind of uh, stuff he does. I think he, maybe Civil War, maybe just something, some kind of uh, other stuff that he does, but uh, He's building a mortar over there right now, and it's real interesting. This is a grinder here. I took this thing all the way apart, which it'll be a video on it, and all the way down to the uh, frame, all except the motor. I hadn't done nothing to the motor or the spindle because I, I ain't got no way to hook it up. And ain't no use of uh, taking it apart if you don't know nothing about it to start with. Uh, but uh, I've been doing painting on it, too. Uh... But I did have got a video on it where I took it apart and checked the uh, bearings and the uh, oiling system and uh, all like that. And uh, I'll show you. I'll have, like I said, I'll have a video on it uh, soon. It's a uh, reed rollaway. And uh, it, uh, I learned a lot about this uh, uh, reed on uh, Michael... Uh, Murrah's channel and uh, y'all need to go over and check Michael out and I'll try to remember to leave a, a, a link to his channel down in the descriptions so y'all go over and check him out well she's all back together and painted uh, we took all that ugly yellow off of there and uh, went ahead and painted it uh, Small screen like the rest of it. It turned out to got looks real good. We had to uh, put new uh, had some eighth inch thick. Uh, I don't know what you call it, spongy rubber, sticky back. And we didn't have no quarter inch. It was a quarter inch on there when I scraped it off. But uh, then we had to replace that hinge right there. 
I'll uh, I'll probably have some pictures of all this, all these other, what it looked like before. But uh, she's done. And after I painted the inside, I didn't. I thought to myself, why do I want to do that? That grit's gonna take it right back off. So, but that's it. Uh, we got her painted, and uh, we didn't paint everything. We just painted the worst of the lot. Uh, this down here was where those, uh, uh, it was uh, right in this area right here. There's a big piece of uh, there that was uh, about an eighth inch thick uh, Bondo. And uh, evidently oil running out of this hole because that's where the oil goes and you got to drain, drain back here. Had got behind that uh, Bondo and it broke it loose and it was cracked all up. You can see spider webs all in it where it's cracked and uh so i just uh, uh got my uh, uh scraper and scraped all of it off and uh, got this the uh quarter inch uh quarter inch uh angle grinder over here with the flapper wheel on it and uh smoothed it up a little bit and uh looks looks a lot better Oh, without all that uh, cracks and stuff going on there. But uh, we got her done, and uh, I think she looks looks good. Ain't got no electricity to it yet. Uh, still waiting on that. Uh, we got to stare it. Uh, I bought this while I was, uh, while I was uh, sick. Oh, it's a stare at 18 inch. Oh. Le uh, precision level uh, we're going to uh, start leveling it up uh, maybe next week we got a bunch of stuff to do around the house uh, here the next few days uh, I uh, bought me a new John Deere tractor well not a new one it's, uh, it's had a hundred hours on it uh, but uh, we got a lot of stuff to do around here and uh me and my son had been wanting one, so I bought one. He'll probably use it as much as me. But uh, I got it about half price of a new one, and like I said, it ain't got but 100 hours on it. But that being said, I hope y'all enjoyed this video and uh, the series, especially on the uh, grinder. And we got one soon coming out on the uh, A-Trump mill. I've uh, been doing about the same thing to it as I did to the... Uh, grinder just uh doing what it needed to be done so uh i'll say good night to y'all and god bless and y'all have a great evening